I'm back. I'm back on YouTube after over a month of not being here and I'm really happy to be back and we're gonna start this new chapter on YouTube with a quite vulnerable and raw video about exams and talking about all the emotions and just the raw feelings that I have around exams just having come out of probably one of the hardest exam seasons I've had uh, in my life. So we're going to talk about this today. If you enjoyed this topic and you want to talk about it and you also feel a bit weird after exams, sit down, take something to eat or just, you know, make yourself comfortable and watch this video and hopefully it'll and hopefully it'll be able to help you. So yeah, let's go. <sighs> let's go. Okay, so this video is going to be organized in three different parts. You know that I love organizing things. So first part is going to be the pre-exam moment. Second part, we're going to talk about the actual exam in itself and like a few tips that I have there to make the exam a bit less stressful, exam day a bit less stressful. And then we're going to talk about post-exam and that's the part probably that I'm going to talk about the most. That's basically the part that made me realize that I wanted to talk about this in a video. So let's start with the pre-exam moment. We're going to call this section pre-exam colon losing myself. Very dramatic title, but necessary nonetheless. So this part of exam season is my least favorite part. It's basically the build up. So like if you imagine exam season as like a graph, you have the build up that reaches a peak. So all of that moment here is pre-exam. Then you have the exam, which is the peak. And then you have a crash and that's post-exam. So right now we're in this category, pre-exam, losing myself. <laughs> And that's the part where I that I hate the, that I hate the most in exam season. It's the moment where you're working all the time, make, you know, building up all of your knowledge and you know, making sure you're feeling ready for the exam. And every single time I get into exam season, I'm like, this exam season, I'm gonna be healthy. This exam season, I'm gonna like continue working out. I'm gonna continue all of my healthy habits while doing my revision and I'm going to be able to maintain that and I maintain it for like a few days and then after a while I don't know why it, I always just have a moment where I'm like I don't have enough time like time is running out and I just can't like I can't meditate for 10 minutes that's too much time given away to something else in studying I can't like work out for 40 minutes because that's too much time given away to like something else in my studies so I just lose I just shed all of my healthy habits, all the things that make me happy and make me a sane human being, I just shed. I just shed it all. Like, you're not going to see me singing that much in exam season. I'm just, I just shed. All of, like, the add-ons are, like, gone. Like, I just shed everything. And then I just become a, a person that wakes up, goes on their phone, opens Anki, does Anki for an hour and finishes the anatomy, stands up, goes to the bathroom, and then, you know, get a look, maybe I'll get ready if I need to leave the house a day. If not, I'll just stay in pajamas, which is just not a healthy thing to do. And then uh, go downstairs, just work on Anki, make myself a bit of food, but I'm not going to make myself the best type of food, just something really easy and quick. And then I'm just going to get back to studying. And then I'm going to like maybe chat a little bit with my housemates because I need a little bit of a break and maybe watch a video or two. But I'm going to feel guilty while doing that because I'm not studying. And then I'm going to finally go back uh, in my room at like 11 and realize that I have still a lot of things to finish on my to-do list and I don't want to go to bed without having done them and I'm just going to sit in my bed on my phone and finish my Anki and go to bed at two. That's you. That's usually my like my pre-exam life that I do every day and I did that for like three weeks straight for this exam season and that was very unhealthy and it always gets me to the point where especially after exams I'm like what can I do differently like I need to change this. This is not a healthy way of living for me to feel always so like guilty when I'm doing things that make me me and always shedding all the things that make me a healthy human. I can't sustain that for longer than whatever I sustain it for, like for three weeks, you know, or like a little bit over a month. I can't do that. And so I need to find techniques to make this moment of exams healthier. And I still don't know how I'm going to do that. My thought process for next exam season is probably to start Anki earlier, probably start Anki during the semester. So I already have like a base knowledge and then add a little bit more cards when I'm in exam season, but just for it not to be 2000 cards a day, because that's basically what I was doing for this exam season. And that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> don't want to do that again. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do and I'll tell you a bit more about it 
or how it went after my next exam season so in may but yeah i'm still kind of reflecting on how can i make this better because i always start with really good intentions you know i always want to work but also keep a, a balance but i always lose the balance at some point there's always a moment where i'm like okay no i can't this is too much time given away to something else than studying and i can't do that like this is something that i can shed and i just shed it and that's not the healthiest version of what I should do. I often also go to bed later, sleep less because I go to bed just after I finish studying. So I'm, my brain is still in studying mode. So I wake up thinking about what I was studying. And so I just feel like I never really have a proper rest. And that's something that I felt like I haven't had a proper rest in a while. Um, and that sucks. <laughs> Pre-exam is sucks. And I'm still trying to figure out how to be healthier during this season of exams. But... As I said, I'm going to try this technique for next semester and I'll tell you how it feels, if it was better. Um, and also, if you have any tips, any things that you also like realize that work better for you, please leave them in the comments. We're like a community and it'll be good to like just have a conversation getting started about that and just help each other. And then the next part of this video is the exam itself. And the exam is probably the part I prefer because I never go in an exam feeling unprepared with all of the studying I do before in the pre-exam time. So that part, like the build up to it, I always realize and note down in my head which day I feel like if I would do the exam today with what I know I would pass obviously it's an arbitrary like value but then it means that everything else I'm doing until exam day is like added on it's not gonna help me pass it's gonna help me like understand the content better and help me you know get a better grade basically and that's you know also good so that's the part I prefer because it's very much like I have two hours or however much time this exam lasts to really prove to myself and prove to everyone that losing myself in the part before was worth it because I'm going to do as much as I can and as good as I can in this exam. I'm going to be so focused, so laser focused on everything I've learned and trying to apply it to this exam. You know, it's always a moment where I'm like, okay, everything you've worked for and everything you've lost about yourself during this exam, pre-exam season, you better make it worth it in the exam. So I'm always like, okay, I'm going to make all of that worth it and just being really laser focused. And another thing I want to talk about for exams, and that's kind of a tip or like a thought process that really always is important to keep in the back of your mind in exams. And that's something that my French teacher told me when it was my French exam year, so a year before graduating from my school. And she, the first class, she was basically like, like guys, hello, my name is whatever. And they, this year is going to be your exam year for the French like curriculum. So let me talk about exams for a hot minute and let me tell you that exams are in three parts. 33% of your exam grade is what you prepared. So it's the pre-exam time, all the work you do. That's 33% of your grade. Then the other 33% of your grade is how you feel on exam day. So did you eat good food? Did you sleep well enough? You know, how well rested do you feel? Are your stress levels low enough that you're able to like focus? And then the 33 other percent are luck on exam day. And I remember her telling me that and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so true. Every single time I'm in pre-exam season and stressing myself out, that is literally just for 33% of the grade. And that is definitely 33% I can control. And that's why I work so hard in pre-exam season because I'm like, I can, I can control that. For my exam grade, I can control how hard I work and what I learn and, and to what degree of depth I learn it. So I can control these like this part of the exam. So I am going to do that because I can control it. But then I also have to remember that when it gets closer to the exam date, I have to start being healthier. Like I have to slowly start sleeping earlier, eating good food, healthier foods, like stop working at least 30 minutes before going to bed. So I am able to have a restful sleep. I need to do all of these things a few days before. Just remember that exams are also, my exam grade will also be 33% of how I felt on the day. And that's also something I can control, but I have to remember that I should control it and not like, you know, sleep, pull an all-nighter I've never done that but like you shouldn't do that because like you are giving basically away 33% of your grade because you're not gonna be able to focus the next day because you're gonna be not well rested and then also just realizing when you get into that exam room and when you're working towards your exam and your pre-exam season being like hey 33% of my grade will be luck 
you know, sometimes you work really hard on a topic and you're like, oh, I don't think it's really going to be relevant, but like, I, I really like this topic and I, I really enjoy learning it. So I went into quite a lot of depth and then all a lot of questions fall on that topic and you're like, well, I got all of those right. But then sometimes you were like, oh, this topic is a bit irrelevant. I'm just going to learn the bare minimum, what I need to know. And then you realize that in the exam, like they only asked you about those questions. And you're like, well, now I don't have any of those points. You know, like you don't control what the exam paper is. And so if you fall on a good exam paper, which is ultimately an exam paper that you understand based on what you the work you've done, then you're lucky. And it means that you're going to have a good grade. But you could also very well fall on a paper that you don't understand as well even though you've worked really hard, but you haven't, you don't understand that paper as well because it's harder or like the question is worded weirdly and that's just unlucky and you just have to realize that exams are also part of luck. And so that cl closes the second part of the video, which is about the exam. And then, let me just have a sip of water for a health sec. Mm. And then we're going to talk about the part that I think is the most important, the top part that is talked about the least post-exam. So you remember my graph? You slowly, you build up, blah, 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 blah. you're working, 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 pre-exam, bam, exam, and then <gasps> post-exam crash. We're going to talk about the post-exam now. We're going to separate this into two different parts. So we're going to have part one of the post-exam, post-exam, colon, finding out how disconnected I am from myself. <sighs> and this part of the exam season was probably one of the first times that it has hit me this hard in exam season because usually in exams I would be like working really hard and then it would be quite quick for me to like jump back but this exam season I really realized after exams were over that yes my exams were over yes I felt relieved in some ways but also I wasn't relieved fully because I was like exams are over okay but I'm feeling really disconnected from myself I haven't worked out in like over a week. I haven't meditated in so long. I have to do so many things that I didn't do because I was in exams and I was like, I'll do this after exams, that my to-do list is like so long. And so you finish exams and you're like, oh my God, I'm finally like done. I don't have to do anything else. But then you have a crash where you're like, yes, I'm done with the exam. Yes. But I have so many things to do now. Like I have to do laundry, have to clean my room, I have to hoover, I have to call this random lady because I said that I was going to call her like after. I have to like catch up with all of my friends that I have not ca caught up with because I was in exams. There's so many things that are on that list because of the fact that I just put everything on the back burner during exams that when exams are over, I have this moment where I'm like, yes, I'm free. But now that I'm free, here's all of the things I need to do now. So I'm not really free, if that makes sense. And then there's also the part of like the post-exam crash, where it's like you realize how hard you've worked for the exam to just be over. And then realize that you now have no control over the grade. You now have no control over what's going to happen. And you've worked so damn hard for it. And you're like, well, it just happened. And now it's over. And you're like, why did I ever stress that much? for something that's just over now and nobody's going to remember about it in like a year or two. You know, it's, it's a very weird feeling. And then you also realize now that you have so much more time and you're able to fall asleep without thinking about exams and all of that, that there's a lot of things that you, emotionally, at least for me, that I've put on the back burner and now my brain's like, okay, now that you have time and like space, mental capacity to appraise it, you're going to have to appraise it. Like I finished my exams and I was like, oh my god it's just over oh exams are just over i worked so hard for it to just be done okay now what i'm free wait no i'm not free because i have all of this to do and then having a moment of like peace and silence and my brain being like oh haha -ha, there's peace and silence now let me force you to think about all of the things you didn't think about and all of the emotions that you've repressed during all of these weeks. So I had to like deal with a lot of emotional things as well, just after exams, after being so emotionally exhausted, just exhausted generally because I had I was very sleep deprived. And now being like, okay, now you have to think about and appraise the fact that you've left France. And you have to think about the fact that now you're feeling lonely because your parents are not in the same country as you anymore. And now you're going to have to think about the fact that you're not going to see your parents for a while. You know, all of these things that I didn't like think about at all because I was just so laser focused on my exams. Once exams are over, it feels like your, your view broadens. And you're like, I was so focused on this one little thing that now it's just over. My eyes now can see so much more. 
and every other aspect of my life needs fixing because I've neglected every single aspect of my life. And you just sat there and you're like, wow, I need to rebuild. Which then brings me to my next part of this post-exam part, which is post-exam, colon, slowly rebuilding. Your eyes widen up and you're like, wow, haven't done laundry in three weeks. That needs to be done. I'm going to do that. Wow, all of my good habits are out the window. I have to start them again and make them habits again because obviously you stopped, so now they're not a habit anymore. So you're going to have to actively, you know, put in the work to make it a habit and make it a part of your lifestyle again because that's something you just didn't do anymore. Then you have to, like, clean your room, organize your stuff. You have to now as well, like, realize that your relationships are lacking because, like, you didn't give enough time to any of your friends or, like, your grandparents. And now you're like, okay, now I'm going to have to call everyone. Like, just have a casual chat with them. And it's just a lot. And I think it's something that we don't talk about a lot in, like, exam videos is that you often have videos that's like, oh, this is how you should prepare for an exam. And then all of the things you should do once the exam is like on exam day, but nobody talks about what happens after exams. The after exam feeling is a weird feeling. It's such a weird feeling. Like you feel so like disconnected and weird. Like it's a weird feeling. And it needs to be talked about and validated and be like, yes, it's normal to feel that way. And my exams have ended on the 26th of February, but I still don't feel like myself fully again. Like, admittedly, I did have, like, acapella competitions and, like, 14 hours of rehearsals in, like, three days, four days. Yes. But also, I still don't feel fully well-rested yet. You know? And that's okay. But it needs to be talked about. It needs to be said. You know? People, we can't just be sitting and be like, Haha, exams are over. I'm so free and I'm feeling so good. Because no. Exams are over, but life still continues. And... The challenges we were facing before exams are still here now that exams are over and now you have to appraise them while being more sleep deprived, while being like still kind of secondhand stressed and all of that jazz. Like it's a lot to deal with and it's important to talk about it. And if there's one thing that I've learned this exam season is that oftentimes every single thing that makes me me and makes me a happy human being because I am happy and I love my life I'll just lose that and shed that in exam season. And then the whole post-exam season, which sometimes is longer than the pre-exam, is me trying to rebuild and trying to, like, refine the happy side of me and the, you know, the version of me that likes to, that enjoys sleeping, that sleeps well, all of that. Like, it's a lot of rebuilding after exams. And it's important to talk about it, so... I hope I was able to do this topic justice or at least start a conversation about that. And if you enjoyed this video and you think you have things to say and things to share, please leave a comment down below. It would mean a lot to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with other people that, you know, have been going through exams recently that have mentioned to you that they're feeling a bit weird after exams but they don't know why. Just send them this video. Hopefully that will be able to help them. And yeah, I just really want to start this conversation, have a raw, vulnerable conversation. And I'm not going to lie, I feel so much better having, like, talked to my camera, my phone, um, for the past, like, hour, because I filmed this twice. Yeah, it feels good. feels good to share, but a bit weird that I'm not going to share this with the world. But, like, hopefully it helped you, and hopefully it's going to help at least one person, and at least my job would have been complete if I'm able to do that. So, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I honestly am sending you all of my positive vibes. If your semester is starting soon, because mine is starting so soon, it's starting next Monday, um, enjoy that. Um, get a lot of rest before. I'm definitely going to like make sure that I rest enough before the semester starts. I say that as I'm going to go party tonight, but... I am enjoying myself as well. Um, and also just a little note on like little updates for the channel. I know that I had not finished Medmiss. Um, that was part of the whole, like, I was in France, there was not enough Wi-Fi to upload the videos, and then I was in exams. But I'm planning to, like, upload the, rema the remainder of the videos once a week, so every Wednesday. So hopefully that will go up every single Wednesday. And yeah, the upload schedule will still be the same every Sunday at 11 a.m. So yeah, now that all that is said, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.